All right, guys, here we are for the first round, and we'll be on the play, it looks like. Ugh. This is not an exciting hand. I think I'm going to mulligan it, actually. A turn four rune wing isn't the worst thing, but we're way off from being able to cast his Sunspire Griffin, and the, deck, the hand just doesn't do anything until turn four as it sits. I don't think I'm going to mullet. Yeah, this one's really bad, too. All right, well, at least this one has a turn two play that's pretty good about keeping us alive, and it also has our, at least most of our colors. It has each color represented, but... All right, this is a good draw. Skymark Rock is a, a fine play on turn four. <coughs> See what he's got for us. A pack rat on turn two. Well, then. That's not very nice of him. All right, let's just hit him for two. Now let's see if he wants to attack with his pack rat. We'll put it on top of his library. He'll get to make one in response, but we can at least slow the progression down here. And maybe even get him locked in where we can start Skymark rocking it. Unfortunately, we can't put the token down, but... Take one less damage doing it that way as well. Battle in there. Yeah, this should this should actually tempo him out pretty good. If he doesn't have a way to answer this Skymark Rock, we're going to be able to lock him down, start bouncing his... We, we can bounce this pack rat and then keep him locked. If he has a way to kill the Skymark Rock, then we're in for... We're probably just going to lose. Turn two pack rat's really, really tough to beat. We found a way to do it here. Potentially, but it's fragile. If he has a way to kill our Skymark Rock, <clears throat> then, uh, or or just keep it locked down, you know, he's got a rest mana or whatever, then we won't be able to uh, to beat the, the pack rat here. He is deep in the tank. He plays Grove of the Guardian. That's a good one. What do you got? This turn is very, very important because, yeah, if, if this does, if it, if our plan doesn't work initially here, then we're pretty much just going to lose to Pack Rat. I mean, he's got infinite cards in hand to pitch to it. We've got nothing. We've just got one three drop that we're going to be playing. So, let's see what happens. All right, he did decide to run out the other pack rat. This could mean a couple things. He can have a pump spell or something, but none of it is particularly relevant as we are just going to start bashing him here. We're going to bounce the token because that actually kills it. Yes, and we actually got there. That is totally sweet. Hit him for six is like a nice hit as well. And we can even follow up with the Centaur Healer to uh, keep the pressure on him. Now, when, whenever we get to attack with a Skymark Rock, we get to choose if, if he makes a token first and we can bounce a token and just kill it. If he waits, then uh, then we get to kill his, then we get to just keep bouncing his pack rat over and over. What do you got? Karaz the Guild Mage, eh? He's got the mana to pump. Okay, now that's a sweet draw. Because what it means is we can arrest the Pack Rat or the Guild Mage here and just lock it down forever. So which one do we want to do? If I'm going to be attacking, he does not have the ability to... Uh, To activate the rat because he used up his black mana. He can, however, pump something. I think I'm going to lock down the guild mage. 
with the rest and just bounce the rat. Because right now he doesn't have the ability to sacrifice his guild mage. And I don't want to give him that chance. Now he can't sacrifice anything to it. That's a lot of value that he can get. All right, so we're going to bounce the rat. Oh, yeah, I want to use that ability. Pump, pump. And that's going to put him down to two. And things are looking pretty sweet for us here. Wow, mold a five on the play and just casually beat a turn two pack rat. I'm pretty happy about that. That doesn't happen that often. Um, did we see anything relevant here? Cancel doesn't do anything against that. <clears throat> Rootborn defenses can, but man, I, I think we just have to kind of get there. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't draw it. I mean, our deck's pretty cold to pack rat. Like, we had to have things go our way. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see if he can come up with the turn two pack rat again. All right, well, that's not a keep. This is also not... Ugh, man, we have eight or whatever, eight or nine white sources in the deck. If we draw one in the next three turns, we are on the draw. Is this hand good? Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. So I don't think we're going to mulligan this one. Although, if we just brick off on, on white sources, then... We lose. And we hit one, so that's good. And we get to have a turn three Selesnia Sentry. Wow, great deck. Just smashing them. Hey, look, a pack rat. And the cool part about this, we have an answer for it. Mythic, uncommon. And he's got a splatter thug. That's fine, though, because uh, we've got a Selesnia. Eh, actually, I'm just going to make a rune wing, I think. Yeah, because this way, next turn, if we draw a land, we have the option of either knightly valoring it or void wielding it. And we use up our mana a little bit better. But a 4-4 vigilance flying and a 2-2 on the ground sounds pretty spiffy to me. So if we do hit that land, I think I'll go for it. Depending on what his mana situation's like, too. If he just ships the turn back with three unopened mana, then I think we'll just void wheel away the uh, Splatter Thug or something. All right, he's got a Gorehouse Chainwalker, which I kind of like to see, to be honest, because I want to get him with this, and all of a sudden our board state is really, really nice versus his. <clears throat> if he decides to attack with a splatter thug, we have to make a decision about if we want to block it. I don't think that we do. We would block the Gorehouse Chainwalker, though. Probably. I don't want to take six here. If he has Augur Spree, it's not the worst. We get a card back out of Rune Wing. It's not happy times either, though. <clears throat> this is our win condition currently, so... <laughs> Things we want to be considering now. Trasani's Judgment, try to get a Knight out of the deal. Again, I don't want to take a bunch of damage, though, so I will probably just trade it off. We're still a land away from doing it as well. Whoop, he keeps pump faking us here. What do you got, buddy? He's got a Gutter Snipe, okay. And no attacks. All right, so if we attack with the Knight, then he might want to trade it off for the Gutter Snipe, but I don't think we really care. I can also just... Uh, lead with Void Wielder, bounce the, the Gutter Snipe, and get in there for six guaranteed damage, and leaving us with a Void Wielder behind. That does seem pretty sweet, although, honestly, I think the Centaur Healer is probably a little more important to get on the board here, because this Gutter Snipe doesn't block profitably anyway. I don't think he's going to block the Knight with it. But if we if we void wield him here, no, I think I think we're okay. I'm gonna attack with both. If he wants to trade it off, I'm not super happy about it, but I'm not super bummed either. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like he is gonna go ahead and trade it off. That's fine. I'll just play a centaur healer and then pass a turn back because now I've got seven power up and I can void wield anything that he puts up that can block. If we draw a land, we've got Trisani's Judgment again to get rid of anything else that can block. All right, no attacks from him at all here. Yeah, he just doesn't have anything here, so we can just battle. So what do you got? 
Street Spasm our guy. Yeah, nothing we can do. <clears throat> so let's just play another guy. Just saving the Void Wielder because I want to be able to use it as a, almost like a big sorcery. It, it's blocking right now. doesn't really do a whole lot. All right, he's got a Soul Sworn Spirit. That's a card that we actually cannot bounce. Uh, let's see, that's three. We get him down to five, and then the next turn we can kill him. I can also trade off. There's really no point in doing that. This is fine. I don't want to bounce a Soul Sworn Spirit because then he'll replay it and, and get another activation on this. So I think what I'm going to do is just... Uh, let me think here, actually. What if he has a card like Traitorous Instinct? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we kill, so what I'm thinking about doing is Tristani's Judgment in the Soul Sworn Spirit here, and attacking him. And that's going to put him down to one, and it's going to make him come up with something. So I'm trying to think of what that something is. If it comes in the form of Traitorous Instinct, it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we go to two. But we're still alive, and he really he needs like he'd need to go like Mountain. Traitorous Instinct and then Dyna Charge one guy to kill us or something. Like, it's pretty unlikely. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? Hold on. Rewind. So we can't attack this turn with this. So if I kill this, he goes down to five. He can have that play, but he doesn't kill us, and then we just untap and kill him. So, yeah, I think I like this plan of just uh, Tristani's judgmenting this thing and beating him down. Because now he has to find a way to, to get rid of this and this, or kill us this turn, and I don't think he can kill us this turn. All right, he had launch party. So that certainly helps his plan out here a bit, but I think we're pretty well set to kill him. So we attack here. And do I want to play an eyes in the skies? Yes, I want to play an eyes in the skies. So ship the turn back. Now, if he has electricery, we're dead, which really sucks. But this way, he can try to attack us for lethal. We can block and take no damage, so that way we play around Annihilating Fire as well. And also, if he had uh, Traitorous Instinct, we'd still be alive. So, if he shows us electricery, then I'm going to be super bummed, but I think it's better than Void Wielding there. Because if we void wield or eh, maybe it wasn't. Let me think about it. But anyway, let's see what he's got here. All right, so we get to block both of them here. Because this way, I like this line a little better. Like it dies to electricery, but now if he has a follow up play that's a creature that he thinks can block this, then we get to just void wield him out. If he's got like goblin rally, we're pretty screwed. <laughs> All right, yeah. So Golgari long legs means that we win. And I think that's better. I think it's better to do it that way and have that situation set up than it is to uh, than to play around electricery. Okay, so we're up around. As you can see, there's a bunch of people in these dailies, and uh, we will uh, we will be back for the next one once it fires. <laughs>